What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about BMS communications. First up, we have Life Power 4 batteries communicating with our 6000 XP. Something to note, if you're using Life Power 4 batteries and you cannot properly communicate, you will have to firmware update your battery. So the secondary battery, firmware is up to date. We can get started. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to check out is make sure your dip switches set to master, which is all down. The next, gonna grab your standard Cat5 E cable which is a straight pin out all the way through. Gonna wanna plug it into that. And the bottom left hand jack, your inverter, BMS COM port right there. Then you're gonna wanna turn on the battery breaker to your inverter and then power on your batteries. Then we can go over here and turn on our inverter. Okay, now that we got power to the inverter, we can go and hold enter for about three seconds to get into the setting page. Once we're there, we're gonna go to setting three, which is battery lithium ion, battery brand zero. And then it should restart. And there we go. Next, we have the EG4 version, LLS. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here and set your dip switches to ID64. If you have the four dip switch version of these models, you're gonna to wanna to set that to 16, which is all down. So then we can go ahead and power on the BMS. Go over here, hold the third from right button down about four to five seconds and it'll take you into the protocol settings. We're gonna go down to CAN. We're gonna select LUX. Once we select LUX, we're gonna go ahead and turn that BMS back off. Set this dip switch to master, which is one left, all the others right. After that, we can go and get our standard Cat5e cable, just like the last one. We can plug it up to our CAN port on our battery, just like that. Come over here, just like the last one. Go ahead and power on that breaker and we can turn our batteries on. Once that's done, we can set our protocols and settings, setting three, just like the last ones, which would be battery lithium ion and battery brand zero return. And that's it. Next, we have the 18K PV and communications with the all weather wall mount battery. We're gonna be using the same Cat5e cable, just like the last two, standard Cat5e cable. Go ahead and plug that up to the top RS45 CAN port. Run it through our conduit box here. Go ahead and plug it in to your BMS port, just like that. You want to go ahead and turn those breakers on, close it up. Now we can go over here and set our ID switches, ID64, just like the last one. We'll go set to Lux. Right there. Go ahead and recycle your BMS. Turn dip switch to master, recycle that BMS again. All right, now we are ready. Turn that breaker on. Make sure everything's good over here. There we go. All right, now it's powering on. We can go ahead and go to our setting page, go in advanced, scroll down, battery type. 
password is going to be all zeros, zero, 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 six zeros. Enter. Battery type, lithium. And lithium brand, zero. And that's it. Now, if you want to communicate with your 18K PV to your Live Power 4 batteries, you're going to need a specific cable with a specific pinout. That pinout is going to be 1 and 2 to your batteries and 7 and 8 but swaps to your inverter. If you have any other questions, please reach out to EG4 Tech Support and thank you for watching.